All right, guys, so before you lift up the car, you want to make sure that you are able to break free this axle nut here, especially if you do not have an impact gun. So the easiest way to do it manually would be to take off your center cap here, fit your socket in. In this case, it's a 30 millimeter 12 point axle nut. You get your big half inch breaker bar like that. And then what I like to do is I take the jack handle off the full length of it. Shove it on there and you Break it free. So you break the axle free from the hub, all you do is you spin the nut down a little bit till it's about flush. You take your hammer. and you just hit it. So now the axle is broken free from the hub. So if you look closely underneath the ball joint, you're actually able to remove it from the lower control arm just by these three nuts and bolts here underneath the arm. So let's go ahead and remove that so we can get access to the axle. You just want to tie this off on the side once you take off the rotor, uh, take off the axle. Okay, so in order to pull out the axle, what I did was I have a little mini pry bar here. I stick it in the back up here, and then I took this other pry bar thing and I stuck it through the bottom here. I have my wife fold this bottom one. So put two points of pressure, one on the top, one on the bottom. And then I whacked this, if you can see on the right side with my thumb shake wiggling. I knocked the handle of this red a few times and then the axle pops out just like that. Damn, did I mess up the seal? Okay. Unfortunately, I guess I was a little bit careless and I accidentally ripped the axle seal. So if you can see here, this is the, the rubber part that's ripped. Now that is causing this leak here. So we're gonna be changing this out now. So first off, you just wanna remove this old seal. Just pull out the old seal. So we're gonna be replacing this with a brand new one. Um, it's fairly cheap, it's only like nine bucks, I believe. I got this from O'Reilly's. Um, it comes greased up on the inside. I accidentally touched it over here. But all you do is, you can actually take a little bit of this grease here and rub it on the outside. So pretty much all you want to do is make sure you tap it in so it's flush with the transmission case. Um, there's special tools that you can buy if you want to buy it. I think it's like 20 bucks. Um, all it looks, all it is, is like a giant socket that fits over the edge, around the edge of this. That when you tap it in, it'll put force around. But I found that it's you can tap it in um, just by going around. Um, it's a little bit more easier that way for me plus I don't even spend money so yeah so that's how you fix the leaking transmission output seal all right so we got one side in okay so now we're gonna start with the passenger side I already took the tire off see that but this is the axle here 
It's it's like completely bad. So we're gonna change it out. So if you follow the inside of the boot, this is the bearing carriage here, the carrier, whatever you want to call it. There's a 14 millimeter that you need to unbolt here and one directly above it. If you can't see, I want you to unbolt that. All you do is you pop out the axle, so from there, and you put the new one back in. So let's do it right now. <clears throat> Once you move the two bolts, you should be able to just wiggle and pull the axle right out. Alright guys, so that's it, that's all there is to it, um, the only thing left to do is to put this car on the ground and tighten the axle nut and it should be good to go. Um, always make sure that you're not leaking trans fluid because if you did rip a trans seal then you want to make sure you replace that because if you drain all the fluid from your transmission you're going to blow your transmission, okay? So just make sure you check your seals, but other than that. I think that's it.